Everybody up for your next local favorite, the fabulous Jane Tovar. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let me just start by saying I don't want to be here. Um, you know, I came on here because I believe that I do have um, the X Factor. Uh, <clears throat> Near, far, wherever you are. I don't have. I don't actually have the X Factor. I just really like to sing. Um, anyways, uh, I'm Jane. I'm a local comedian, and I've been doing this for a while now. And um, I actually am glad that I'm in the fellow company of a couple of not in their 20 year olds, which is cool. I um, just turned 30 uh, last month. Or no, it just, thank you, thanks. I wish I was that jazzed about it when it happened. But, um, it, but I like it because it's my dirty 30s. And so that's like kind of the only part of it I like so far as I get to say that I'm in my dirty 30s. But um, it hasn't been that dirty yet. I think I'm very young at heart in a lot of ways. Um, I do have an iPhone. And I think, I know, I know, right? No, just getting started. I feel like everybody should have an iPhone, an iPhone, hear me out. So the reason why you should have an iPhone, of course, is because that way when you witness somebody like racially harassing a person at like their place of business, you can record it in HD and then upload it to the internet. See, and that's like so, that's what I'm all about is like, I mean, I, and the thing is though, I have to like reserve, like I have to reserve a little spot in my phone. There's most of it is like memes and then there's like invisible creatures that I go around and capture. And then I have like, like some, speaking of high definition, some like very, like very high definition pictures of like beefy dudes. And then I have like three gigabytes, very high definition, like three gigabytes. <laughs> Just free, like for that, because I would love that. I would love, I wouldn't, I just wouldn't want to miss out on that. I don't know if y'all um, saw the video of the lawyer dude fellow um, in New York who was yelling at somebody for speaking Spanish. He was really irate and he was very unhappy. Um, and then some, somebody filmed it and put it on the internet. And now you like, it has a horrible life and nobody likes him. And it's like, I just love, and I love how these guys just keep going. Like, like they see someone's videotaping them, they, they just, they're like, whatever, it's not a big deal. It's like, it's, not, it's, like, it's not 2002. I can, I, I can do more on my phone than play, play like insane aquarium. Like I can videotape and upload it to the internet in seconds. So like, just like, like that's what I think, you know? I, um, actually, this is a good segue. I try to um, fight hate with love. I know, that's like how I feel about it. It's new, it's a new thing I'm trying. I am trying to, it's this idea of killing them with kindness, you know, like this, like Selena Gomez, which I think she's, I think she was the one that uh, came up with that, like kill them with kindness, like that, with this, like, yeah. I don't know, but I think, I've been trying it. So like, just earlier today, I was outside here on this here um, street type place, and you know, they got all the, um, anti-abortion people who like, who's like, grandkids never call them and like, don't like have anything going on really, you know, like Judge Judy was a rerun again. And so they just have to sit there with their sandwich board and their little Fitbit that tells them like, whatever, want to take a shot of Jesus' blood or something. And then I walk by, just, you know, and I'm thinking, you know what, Jane, no. Like, you've done this before. You've yelled at them and you felt better for like 10 seconds, but then you felt bad about them. Even though they deserve, like they do deserve it, they deserve it. But I thought, I should use this as an opportunity to do some viral marketing. So I told them, some old lady was sitting on a lawn chair and I said, you know, like right, right here, like you guys are already here, this is gonna be a comedy show and I'm gonna perform, and I'm gonna do heathenistic acts, I'm gonna talk about um, getting abortions. I'm gonna talk about like, you know, sucking dicks and taking dicks inside of my body, which is a holy vessel, which I feel like, have, which I feel like if we could meet halfway on that, at least, 
I just told him, I said, you know what, if you want to have a laugh, like if you would like to have a laugh, I, you know, after a long day, I'm like schlepping the whole like, you know, whatever, chopped up baby images type thing. I'm sorry, I know, that's, but that's what, if you, yeah. I've, I've, I've yelled at them, don't worry. But this time I decided I would, I would try and benefit. I don't see any of them here. But see, but you know, like, why does that just always work? Viral marketing doesn't always work. Um, I have this really good idea for a TV show. Tell me what you guys think about it. So it's gonna be me and a bunch of other girls, and it's like in near future, so like we're living like post-apocalyptic, like after like the collapse of like modern civilization, and we have to like split our pills just to get by, and like we like are basically like just like barely straddling the poverty line, and like about to lose our already inadequate housing, and we're all really old, and I'm gonna call it the gold-plated girls. It's, you're gonna, that one's gonna hit you later tonight, and you're gonna wish that you had, like, you had laughed. Um, I, do, I have lots of ideas. Some of them are better than others. I, oh God, I, I hate having to look at my phone when I do these things, especially when I'm being filmed. It's like there's another camera. I'm just gonna, I wouldn't wanna, I wouldn't wanna leave anything out. I just don't think I could forgive myself if that did it. Okay, no, yeah, that did kill it. Okay, Selena Gomez. Shot of the shots of Jesus' blood, my heathen. Oh, I forgot about that part. I forgot about the part, and this is this is funny. This is I'm glad I remembered this. Um, I I while I was doing my viral marketing, I decided to give them a sample of my new fragrance, which is called Heathen, just Heathen with period at the end. Um, the period is a reminder that you know women are whores, and that's that's just that's what. So I can kind of like tie it together. And it smells like, you know, like busted condoms or something, like, <laughs> something. They, they didn't like it, they weren't into it. But um, I do some impressions. Do you guys, are you ready? I'm gonna do that with you, whatever you say, so. Yeah, cool, okay, cool. Okay, this is my impression of my um, dad. Jane, where's my Lord of the Rings box set? <laughs> What did you do with my uh, replica of Aragorn the Third's sword? Where did you put it? Thanks. Thanks. This, okay, so this is, then this is the impression of my mom. Sweetie, you know what? You just, you have a gift. You have a gift. And you, I feel like you need to gift it to other people, which are also gifts. And uh, I just, um, I'm just so happy. I'm just so proud that you. You're just, you're my little shining star. So that's my mom. And then, okay, this is my impression of former first lady Nancy Reagan. <laughs> um, me and my husband were complicit in ignoring the AIDS epidemic before it killed tens of thousands of people because I was too busy beautifying highways. <gasps> This, um, this is my impression of my other sister. Jane! We don't, I, I really, we don't really talk very much. So I don't know. I don't, I don't, I don't even know if she knows my name. I don't even know, like, I don't know what she would say. But, um, yeah. I feel like I am always, I think I have too much stuff and then I get to the end and I'm done and I have more time I could have filled. Let me check my phone one more time. I told that I did the Selena Gomez whip. Okay, I just want to. I'm a heathen, Nancy Reagan, all the naked guys on my phone, and I'm going to prom. Oh yeah, I had a I had a joke where I referenced prom, but then the person before me referenced it, and I just like don't want to be a copycat. But um, it was gonna be some joke about my my eternal youth, like. Whatever. Like, all of my jokes are just like about youth. I like not like like people not thinking that I'm 30. Like I don't think there's anything wrong with being 30. I just like I've never like I've never done it before. Like I I just never. Oh gosh, sorry. I got lipstick. I got lipstick on the microphone. But it's like Selena. Remember when she's like? Do you guys know like the last microphone she used like the lipstick for lipsticks like still on it? That's like really sad, huh? <laughs> Sorry, I just love Selena. That, I, the other Selena. I'm not really a big fan of the other Selena. But, um, 
Yeah, I um, I have people telling me that they think I'm in my 20s, which is good because. <laughs> That, that, that like wasn't a, wasn't a joke there, but I'm like that's cute, that's cool, that's cute. Um, I guess I just want to say that um, you guys are awesome for coming to Almost Woke. It's so much fun. Um, I'm so excited that we have grown from a humble little room. Well, it's the same room. We haven't grown to anything really, but it's it's just so much fun. And, and thank you guys so much for for being here. And I think together we can heal this nation. Yeah. One laugh at a time. <laughs>